Hey guys, according to Diesel here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. In the last part, uh, we went and talked to um, uh, this guy right here, the Cock Cape Man, and uh, we talked to his little friend, which his name I think is Elmo. It's been a while since I played this, and um, he wants, I think he wants to see his fan, so we're going to let him know about Cape Cod real quick. So, I was talking to the Cape Cod. The Cape Cod! You're friends with the Cape Cod? I can't believe I actually know someone who's friends with the Cape Cod! If you would introduce him to me, I would shower him with praise! Did he say that I was actually friends with him? The fact that you would even set me up for a fall like that, only to pull the cape out from under me, put tears in my little eyes. Okay, then. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about Elmo, the Cape Cod fan. The fuck is up with that face? Alright, so let's go and tell Cod, his really upset fan. I don't know about you guys, but I've ever met that little kid in real life and he was a fan of me, I'd really be creeped out. Alright. You'd make this kid's wish come true if you performed again. Really? Really. You say he's a fan? Absolutely rabbit. He drools every time he says your name. I'd hate to break his heart, and I'd hate to see him drool. Okay. I can gather information about the Cape Cod with this talk balloon. No shit. I like how the uh, facial expressions at least change every time you get a new talk balloon. That's actually pretty interesting. And, uh, oh yeah, we were, um, we need to eat some pie. I forgot the name of the pie. Like I said, it's been a little bit of a while since I played this, so... Yeah, sometimes I might forget some names. You love that Cape oh, Cod, don't one. you? I bet if I was able to introduce Elmo to the Cape Cod, his little heart would soar. I'm stupid. Okay. There we go. I'll try to set it up so you can meet the Cape Cod. What do you say? Is he here yet? Huh. I bet if the Cape Cod had a chance to meet his number one fan, Elmo, that would cheer him up. I really love some of the facial expressions. I can use this talk this. Room to gather information <laughs> about Elmo, the Cape Cod fan. They've uh, they've really done a lot more with the facial expressions than in the last game, which is really really good because it makes it a bit more funny too for what they have done. Cod, you've got to see this kid. He's your absolute number one fan. Yeah, he really likes me that much. <laughs> I heard you're a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm Elmo. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. Cod, I've seen all your shows. Seen your movies. Even heard all your records. Which trick would you like to see? Yes. Which one? Please. That's literally a trick called please. He doesn't even give a shit. He's like, eh, he'll die. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Clark, will you find my... Of course. Uh, who should I make this out to? Yes. To the kid. Thanks for all you've done. Uh, what have you done, kid? Right. Signed, the card. Would you like to see my collection of Cape Cod action figures? I even have the one with lifelike fins and the kung fu grip. Hey, Winkin, that would be swell, Mr. Uh... Call me, sir. Yes, sir. Come along, kid. Wait, I almost forgot. And do you have the one with the glow-in-the-dark teeth? And, oh, there's the limited edition Bionic Cod. Oh, and did I tell you I have the last bag of Cape Cod barbecue sauce and a kitty litter ever sold? And it's never been used. Okay, uh, that's then. The Cape Cod's famous parachute cake. Now that he's hung it up for good, I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow it. Yeah, quote-unquote, borrow. Anytime a, a humongous entertainment game says borrow, is more likely steal. And we'll never see it again. Okay, uh, let's see, I got the code thing, but I'm gonna need to eat the pie, so let's go get some pie. 
We gotta make the pie first, though. Hunky doke. Alright, so how's everyone doing so far um, well, right in now. on uh, this week? Hope you're all having a fantastic summer because sooner or later, um, I don't know if this is all for all YouTube uh, users, but I know some might be going back to college or even maybe high school. Which I know I am. I'm starting my senior year in high school, so. Why do I need a cave? I'm stupid. But yeah, this is going to be. Um, Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Well, yeah, this year will be the last year for me to go to high school, and sooner or later I'll be going to college, which will be interesting. But don't worry, I still have some other videos to go. Yes, the season two of Thomas and Friends is coming out soon. I, I'm already writing the script, and the next My Little Pony video should be coming out sometime, um, probably this August. So, I forgot what she just said. Let me hear this again. Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the Prince Cooking Medal of Honor for my pickle pot pie. Of course I can make it. I have everything I need right here except for two pickles. If you bought me two pickles, I'd be more than happy to make you my fabulous pickle pot pie. Two pickles, eh? I'll keep my eyes open. Stir, stir, stir. Okay, two pickles then. Alright, so let's go get the pickles then. <laughs> Alright, so this game does change. Alright. Okay, I know where we get some pickles. Yeah, we're almost gonna be done with this uh, LP pretty soon. I have a feeling that at least it'll take at least one or two more parts. Possibly two. But uh, we'll just see what happens. Alright, so I need a pickle. Can I please have a pickle on a stick? Of course you can, young man. It's fabulous fun when it's food on a stick. Thank you. Okay, now I need to clone a pickle. So let's go get to pick. Oh yeah, and uh, get ready for what their names are. Welcome to you clone it. What do you get? Two, two, two. For the price of one. <laughs> Stereo sheep. I'm Doll and I'm Lee. Hello, Doll. So nice to have you back where you belong. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your troubles. I think he wants us to quote it, Doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. Now please, after you. I'll do it. That's my right. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do Julianne Frost? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Alright, so now let's go get the pie. Yeah, Dolly and S. Spy Fox said, Wow, stereo sheep. <laughs> Alright, so let's go here. Uh, let's go down. Go right in now. <laughs> Here you are, two big juicy pickles. No comment. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! 
Thank you. My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Someone to the kitchen this time, no? All right. All right, so now let's finally go inside the dog bot. What do you know about that? Pickle Pot Pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. Alright. Oh, okay, so there's three doors this time. Uh, La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dog bot. When the one million tourists comes to the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. Okay, so where do I want to go to first? Hmm, let's see what's up here. Okay, it's really good. Oh, I see. They have an eyeball moved at me. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, can I go in here? Like I said, it's been a while since I've been, uh, since I've played this part, so I don't know what to expect. It's luck. No shit. Okay, then, uh, let's go here then. What happens if I turn this off? I wonder what these controls do. Do I dare find out? Um, let me put on a cape, see what happens. Super Fox! <laughs> that Pause. fan is blowing the air up. Do I want to go up, or... What am I doing? That fan is blowing the air up. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Okay, um, can we go off? That fan is off. And, no, I don't think that's the right one. Okay, um, I guess I go down. That fan is sucking the air down. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, I'll... I can't go walking around like this. It's time for the fox and cape to part company. Okay. I'll come back to this later. I'll figure it out somehow. Hmm. The opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... I just realized, I think I have the, uh, fork and spoon thing. A picture of La Roche. Hmm. <laughs> I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of La Roche's fingerprint. All right. Uh, let me 
Well, let me go back up. I think there might be something I'm missing here. I guess, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what I'm... The door I, is now, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stumped. I think I might have to look some of this up, but I want to try myself. Oh, okay. Now, now I see it. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, let's just go in there, and then I'll call Super it a fun. let's play here. Yeah, shut up. Can I go down there, or... Okay. No! With that fan on, I can't do a thing. Oh, are you serious? Am I supposed... Okay. Got to make it down to the Restructo Lux. I hope the Cod's special cape will do the trick, or it's box pancake for me. Here goes. Whew! Lost the cape, but the fox stays intact. Okay, now I get it. This must be La Roche's laboratory. I bet he creates all sorts of evil contraptions here. Alright, so I'm going to call a let's play here. Thank you all so much for um, watching me play Spy Fox 2. Some assembly required, and yeah, just like the last game, I'm sorry it took me this long to figure this one out, but I think this one, one was a lot shorter than Spy Fox 1. Alright, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Take care.